right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Children are involved. Either children, someone here has children, children are affecting how things are going between you and this person or not going, right? Um, somebody could have an inner childhood wound here that needs to be healed with a ch children card. Then, yeah, it looks like codependency. So either your person has children with someone or you, you're attached to them due to children or something of that sort. Okay, codependency. Um, and then we have calling in your soulmate here, energy on the bottom of the day. So for some of y'all, this divine masculine or divine feminine is your um, soulmate, unrequited love. This, listen, for some of you all, I'm getting with this unrequited love, this codependency and children here. Somebody here, stay optimistic about your love life is on the bottom of the day. It's giving the energy, you guys, of uh, like, for some of you all, this is not for everybody. But it's like, there's someone in your energy who may be in another connection. They may have children with this person. Um, they're attached to them because of the children, due to children. They don't, there's no love in the connection. They really don't love each other. There's not enough attraction. There's not enough chemistry. These things are just not good. This person's doing everything they can to remain positive about the connection between them and this person here, or this could be the two of you. All right. That's, that's what it's given here. But let's see. Show me what else here for the divine masculine. Let's start with the divine masculine's energy, okay, and see what's going on with them. Show me the divine masculine's energy here. Mm, what is that? Lives in a fantasy world. Okay, so I'm not picking it up, but lives in a fantasy world, just fell on the floor, and then scared to commit is here. <laughs> Somebody is either in a connection that there, there's no love, there's no passion, there's no sexual attraction, they're just in it for the kids or because they're attached to each other. Um, and that's why this person cannot commit to you. This person is something about their life is delusional. There's a, a delusional energy here. Somebody's living in an illusion. Yeah. Um, on a, oh, somebody's having money problems too. Look at that. On a budget made a mistake here there's some money problems going on in a certain situation right now hmm. i'm seeing here that this person is compassionate okay so this is you all right so this is i feel like this is you collective you're someone who here is very compassionate very kind very caring very loving energy you are relationship material. This person feels like your relationship material. They feel like you are their person, but they're stuck in something else. So this, <laughs> somebody wants closure here with you. Somebody here wants closure. They're, they've been, yeah, insecure. Somebody is feeling like they're never going to get this closure with you, with this insecure energy and this wants closure. This person wants to have a conversation with you. Um, they may have made the wrong mistake and chose someone else here. This person, I feel like is getting ready to do something very unpredictable. This person has been like holding back because we have unpredictable and great willpower here. Yeah. This person has been trying to hold back. They're about to do something they might, they might regret. I don't, I don't know what that's about here, but Show me more here for this divine masculine, please. How is this divine masculine currently feeling about the divine feminine? Divine masculine does not mean that this person has to be a female, okay, or a male. They could be either or, four of wands. So they feel like collective four of wands, they, they want to reunite with you. They feel like they can have something stable and happy with you. They Like I said, you are the person who's kind, caring, and compassionate. You're the person who they want to, to be with. That's also the 1111 card. So for some of you all, this person with a twin flame. Show me more about how this divine masculine is feeling about this divine feminine, please. Mm. The hangman wanted this. It, somebody is just came out crossing. The hangman is Pisces energy, by the way, you guys. This hangman energy, this person is just thinking about what they can do 
to reconnect and reunite with you. And it's like, they, they really are about to, I, I feel like they're about to do anything. Like, what can I do? Um, but I still feel like this person can't commit somehow, some way, especially if they're attached to a whole nother situation. Ooh, two of pentacles. They're about to drop something. This person's about to drop something unexpectedly is what I believe. Yeah, I feel like this person's been holding back or or like trying to delay making this decision. And I feel like they can no longer delay this. They they know collectively they have to do something very quickly here. They have to make a quick decision. <clears throat> the high priestess. More Pisces energy here. So you could be a Pisces or they could be a Pisces. Let's see what this high, high priestess is about here. Why is the high priestess here? This could be secrets. This could be fears. This could be um, the page of swords in reverse. There's some sort of gossip or secret getting ready to come out that's hidden. Show me more on this high priestess and this page of swords. Somebody may have found out some sort of secret here. This five of cups. Whatever this person found out, this they're in regret, sad, sadness, and loss here. Bottom of the deck is the devil. Capricorn energy. Some of you all could be a Capricorn or dealing with one. Um, again, which is energy of being attached and codependent to something. I feel like this person is also like just dealing with some form of toxicity or if they're in another connection, then this divine masculine, something's getting ready to get revealed here. You could be a Leo. Children can definitely be involved in this situation. Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card? What, what is this getting revealed? What is being revealed here? That somebody here, Ace of Wands, may somebody may have a secret child or again, children has something to do some gossip or something is happening here about either a pregnancy or a child or something of that sort here this person your divine masculine does want a new beginning with you okay they do they may even want to they may feel like they wish they had gotten you pregnant instead of somebody else here ten of pentacles somebody here could have a family or this person may want to have a family with you or they thought they were going to have a family Hmm. Let's see here. Page of Cups. Look at that. This person wants to apologize to you. Show me more here about this. This for this divine masculine. Yeah, see, there nothing compares to you. If this person, your person is dealing with somebody else here, they know that nothing compares to you or nobody, period. It doesn't matter who this person might be dealing with or attached to. I mean, I'm not saying anything is right, but somebody, some anger is getting ready to come out here. Somebody's upset. This person is upset at their selves for how things turned out or who they ended up with. I don't know. Definitely re energy of regret here. Yeah, this person wants to talk. You have an offer on the table here. This person wants to come towards you, talk to you, or there could have been some sort of, let's see what else, conversation. Don't force it. I think somebody wants to, is about, wants to talk. Somebody's forcing some conversation here. Hmm. This, so there's some emotional distance between you and this person. I mean, the two of you aren't really talking or communicating right now. I feel like you haven't seen this person, but this person wants to bring, I'm telling you, they have been trying to hold back and they want to talk to you. But I feel like you guys don't want to talk to this person because distance and retreat or time out came out in reverse. You and this person could live at a distance from each other. You don't have to, but it's just, that's just what this is giving. This person wants to bridge the gap. Um, show me what else here for the collective. This person is fantasizing about you. I'm telling you, this person it definitely, for some of you, they definitely wanted to give you a baby. They wanted to have children. This person, I feel like, wanted children with you. Look at that twin flame and the sun card with twin flame here on the bottom of the deck. 
I love you. I've loved you more than you ever will know. They love you, but I feel like there's some drama or something happening. This person is very emotional right now when it comes to you, you guys. Let's see what else is going on. Let's move to another deck. Mm. Show me what else is going on here for the collective and the divine masculine. Oh, that's too many spirit. Thank you. One at a time. Thank you. Yeah, see, okay. <sighs> some of you all have some friends who are very like jealous, or that is from friends who were jealous of the connection that the two of you had, you and your divine masculine had together. This person tried to talk to your divine masculine or divine feminine here. This person tried to see if your person was going to take the bait. Maybe they did. I don't know. Maybe that's, you know, everybody's story is going to be different here. This person here um, never healed from their past breakup. And they have trust issues, or this could be you, but they're definitely dealing with a karmic. Whoever they're dealing with right now is a karmic, okay? We have, I want to spend all my time with you. I compare you to everyone. No one compares to you. Yeah. Yeah, baby mother or baby father. Yeah, and stuck in a karmic cycle. They're stuck in a karmic cycle with this person. So your person's either, I wish I met you first. I can't make it up. Literally, it says, I wish I met you first. Like, uh-oh. I just, so when they met you, they weren't ready. These cars just jumped out. So I'm going to take them. I know I owe you an apology, but I'm too stubborn. I just wasn't ready. I can't believe you chose them over me. So this could be you, like this person chose somebody else over you and that person that they chose is a karmic. They're stuck in a cycle with them because some of you, they are, um, you know, they have children with this person. For some of you all, you know who this person is that they have children from or with, or they might have been with a friend or that you know, or somebody in a, a friend group or whatever else, but this person wishes they met you first. It's, it's too late now, you know, um, uh, <laughs> it's too late show me here for the let's see how the divine feminine is feeling how's the divine feminine feeling about this situation please the fool okay so you're ready for new beginnings you're ready for something new mm -hmm. and i feel like some of you all feel like you were a fool for this person at one point too aries energy here Page of Wands. Yeah, you are really more Aries energy. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I think you're just excited about what's coming towards you, what's happening new. You could be traveling here, having a good time, wanting to try new things. Um, your energy is looking great. You have more energy here. Like you're, you, you're feeling better since you disconnected from this person. Your energy's you feel like a weight lifts off of you since you and this person haven't like really talked or since you distanced yourself from this situation. Show me the divine feminine energy, please. Divine feminine. Nine of cups in reverse. Mm. You feel like this person was very selfish Or you're going to start being selfish. This is you starting to be selfish here for yourself. You're setting your eyes and your sights on a new beginning somewhere else. You've changed your directions. You've moved your intention. You're starting a new cycle. And you aren't going to give up on that new cycle. And you're going to continue to be determined to do that. And I feel like, collective, you now are like, I have to do in the future, moving forward, you know how they always start emails. They say moving forward, comma, right? I feel like this is you moving forward. You're doing what's best for you and not what's best for anybody else. How does the divine feminine feel about this divine masculine, please? Justice. Yeah. 
you feel like this person was supposed to do what was fair and what was right. If they can't come towards you and do what's fair and do what's right, then you don't want to have anything to do with the situation. You want the truth from this person. You know you deserve you deserve a, a fair, balanced connection here. You know you deserve the truth. You've learned some lessons. You know, um, you you are your integrity. You acted out of integrity. You know, like you stayed true to you. Show me how the Divine Feminine feels about this Divine Masculine. Okay, Knight of Swords. You feel like this person was in and out. Very impulsive. Yeah. The Lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. Because this is all air energy here with the Justice, the Knight of Swords, and the Lovers card. Hmm. You want a balanced connection. You know what you deserved here. You, did you love this person? Did you have passion and feelings with them? Yes. Did you want a romantic connection with them? You did. But, you know, this, this person just chose to just play around in your energy and somebody else's energy here. The Ace of Cups. So you might have a choice in between somebody new and somebody old here, by the way. Okay. Some of y'all may have new love coming in towards you new love coming in towards you and it could be good balanced um but the lovers is also about a choice okay but this is also the lovers is you come into into some form of balance some form of harmony and making a choice that is well balanced especially being here with the justice card and the ace of cups upright um so you do have new romance coming in for you something successful, something you're going to enjoy. You are already in this energy of wanting a new beginning anyways and being selfish for yourself. I feel like you changed your sights on this situation and this person, you kind of realize this is not going to work out. You, you already did, you know, that's how I feel here. Um, so yeah, it might be a little too late. I mean, this person is stuck in a karmic cycle. Oh, this eight of wands. I didn't even see this eight of wands here that fell out so that's progress you moving forward think i think there's going to be some movement here for you definitely some travel energy and definitely some communication so expect communication from someone new and also from this old past person because i feel like this new person does want want to say something to you you have something coming in here yeah that's solid but I feel like whatever's coming from the past person isn't solid. This person is reflecting. I feel like there might be a lot of mirroring happening between the two of you, especially if this is your twin. This person sitting back in like hermit mode, realizing, you know, a lot of things. Yeah, this is, <laughs> you're acting cold here. This person is like, there are some emotional and physical distance between you and this person. You don't really have anything else to say to them is what I feel like gossip but somebody i'm telling you there's some form of gossip here some talk some je jealousy some envy but it doesn't matter because see somebody's going to get their karma you're going to have the last say so you don't even have to say anything spirit is just gonna it's just gonna happen it's just gonna happen the way it's supposed to so whoever this jealous energy energy is or whoever's in this gossip energy here they're gonna get they're gonna get their karma for this. Believe that. Virgo, some of you all are dealing with a Virgo here. What else for the collective, please? Okay. Self-absorbed, ambitious, and focused. I feel like this is you, again, being selfish for yourself, like I said earlier, with the self-absorbed energy here. This is you focusing on whatever your goals are, being ambitious, only worried about what's in front of you, not what's behind you. Um, for some of you all, you could dealt, I definitely have dealt with somebody who was self-serving, uh, only focused on what they wanted. They weren't able to commit to you. They wanted their cake and wanted to eat it too, you know what I'm saying? But I really feel like this is you, Divine Feminine, in this self-absorbed, selfish, self-serving energy. And it's about time that you do that. It's about time. This person's watching you from fake accounts here, spying on you. They want to apologize. Or they may reach out to you from a fake account. 
on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or something here and they want to apologize for disappointing you here. Yeah, look at this. I'm telling you, somebody here, there's some form of gossip or something being revealed or something coming out about a pregnancy, money, stability, or somebody being stuck. There's a wish fulfillment, hoping and yearning energy, okay? This person is wishing and praying and hoping that they can mend things with you. And they're coming out of denial about a situation here with denial coming out in reverse. It was much easier to deny my feelings for you. Um, I, I, I think this is really past energy because this person knows who you are right about now. They're haunted. They're haunted by, yeah, I'm telling you, haunted energy. They know whatever they did, they fucked up and they made a really bad decision. It says knowing they fucked up. They're not in denial about this. They know what they did and they know how it screwed it screwed every they have really like made a mistake here. Because they know you've moved on. It says moved on. <laughs> this person is doing everything they can, literally. Like they're about to lose their shit. Yep, over on the verge. On the verge of, of, you're about to hear something here. This person is either about to come towards you and reveal and confess something to you that's been happening in the background here with their family or their home or with a kid or something or in some form of commitment here. Mm -hmm. Let's get a few more cards. What else does the collective need to know about this situation? All right, I'm telling you, this person's on an emotional roller coaster. They don't know whether they're coming or going here. They're just waiting for you. They're just sitting around waiting to hear from you here. Um, yeah, roller coaster, like I said, emotional roller coaster. Elimination. I'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us and overthinking. I'm telling you, this person is going through it right now. They they want to talk, they want to apologize. They feel like you. This I feel like this person is just moving like really slow here. And the reason they're moving really slow here is just because they've got another situation they got to kind of really deal with. And they don't really know how they're going to deal with it. So that's your reading, you guys. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like the energy here. And